Simon Westland of Blackmagic Design and we're here at NAB 2018 where we're showing the Blackmagic Ursa broadcast camera. This camera is very similar in design and feature set to the Ursa Mini Pro that you may already be familiar with. It features a large time code display. When we open it up inside you've got the 5 inch monitor that you can see there. You've got CFast uh, card readers um, and recorders and SD as well. Um, so you've got lots of recording options with the camera. The way we have it configured here is really for a studio use. So we've equipped it with the Blackmagic Ursa Studio Viewfinder. The camera features um, a B4 lens mount and is absolutely perfect for 4K live or studio production. And one of the things you see here on the back of the Ursa broadcast camera is we have it fitted with a Blackmagic camera fibre converter, plugging in here to the Blackmagic Studio fibre converter. And this is connected by a single cable. This is a Simpty fibre cable. And down this cable, we provide all of the power to the camera, as well as sending back video, audio, talkback and tally down a single fibre cable. So this is absolutely fantastic in live production where you only want to run a single cable but get all of the connectivity that you need. So what you see is the Blackmagic Cursor Broadcast, that's $3,495 and that's available now. At NAB 2018 we've launched the brand new ATEM Television Studio Pro 4K. Now you may be familiar with the HD model of this and this is an all-in-one switcher. So all of your video connectivity, all of your power connections, your data connections and everything are contained within the unit on the rear of this unit here. What you get with this product is complete control over your program and preview as well as all of your live effects, so your transitions. Um, you also get camera control when you're using Blackmagic cameras directly built in to the panel. Um, you can control all the transition timings, the lengths and everything else and basically get full control of the switcher from the panel. That's incredibly useful when you're working in live environments where you don't want a large footprint of equipment but you want to take everything with you in an all-in-one chassis. What's great about the new 4K model of the switcher is that it features eight 12 gig SDI inputs. So you can do 4K production just with single cables from your camera sources. Um, you also get on this, and it's a really great feature, is effectively you're getting a Terranex Express converter on every single input. And what I mean by that is you can bring a mix of different video standards, different frame rates, different resolutions into the product and they will all convert to the output resolution that you set. So once you set your output resolution, you don't need to take care of any other conversion. All those standards are converted directly within the unit. So that's the new ATEM Television Studio Pro 4K. That's available now for $2,995. We're back here on the Blackmagic Design booth at NAB 2018 with the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. This is brand new here at the show and a really exciting new product. Talk to you about some of the features of this. One of the things that you'll see is that it has a carbon fiber polycarbonate shell. And the benefit of that is that it keeps the camera extremely lightweight, but also very strong. Uh, this is an incredibly strong casing designed for you to travel with and throw into the camera bag and take anywhere you would like. Some great new features of this camera are that it includes both CFast and SD card recording. So on the side you can see you've got slots for CFast and for SD card. But also what you get on this camera is that you get a USB-C connection built into it. So you could actually record directly to an external drive. And that's incredible because you then hook up that external drive to your computer and start to use that media for editing straight away. Also, while we're looking at connections, it has a mini XLR audio, which has got phantom power as well for microphone input. It's got a lockable 12 volt DC power connector. You've got a full size HDMI on the side of that camera because it's a slightly bigger, a bigger body. Uh, and you've got microphone and head put, headphone inputs on the side. As we turn the camera around, you see it's got an amazing five inch touchscreen display, which is great for monitoring when you're out in the field. And it means you don't necessarily need to take a, another monitor with you. But this is also where we access the camera's menu features. And this uses the same 
Blackmagic camera operating system, as you'd be familiar with with our Ursa mini cameras. So you can select the menus that you want and simply using your finger, you're able to turn those on and off and control all your settings. So it's an incredibly easy and intuitive camera to use. When we spin round to the front end of that camera, um, you'll see that it has a micro four thirds lens mount and features a full size four thirds sensor. Final feature of that really to talk about is the fact that it has dual ISO with dual native settings of 400 and 3200. And what we're able to achieve is incredible performance in low light situations with the camera going up to 25600 ISO. So that's the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It's going to ship in September of 2018. It's $1,295. And for more information, visit the Blackmagic website at blackmagicdesign.com. Hey, this is Brad with the FJ Westcott Company. I am the uh, Director of Product Development, and we're excited to talk about our new Flex RGBW mats and Flex Cine DMX Dimmer. Uh, both are going to be released in Q3, so we wanted to give you guys a quick uh, kind of peek at what we've got going on. The new RGBW Flex mats uh, are going to operate just like the previous daylight and bicolor mats, but now you're going to have the ability to do a full spectrum color selection. Um, as you can see here, we've currently got a 1x2 mounted to our Scrim Gem Cine frame, mounted to the new Flex yoke as well with a hard diffusion panel on the front. Uh, updates on the new mats, not only just for RGBW, but for the daylight and bicolor as well. Uh, we've increased the gauge of the wire. We've added magnets to each of the corners, and we've also added grommets to each corner as well. So now you can daisy chain those guys to, together. We've also increased the size and durability of the connector. Uh, so this new connector here, uh, should something you know happen to it, breaks on set, you can uh, fix it on the fly and be ready to, to go. The cool thing about the new connector, you'll find this new connector on all of the new mats. And this one connector will fit into the new dimmer. And this one dimmer will now control each individual mat. You will not need a individual controller for each mat. So one dimmer controls all the mats. Um, and we're gonna have uh, Alex Nunez from Innovative Dimmers come over here and talk to us about the, uh, the new controller. So hey, I'm Alex from Innovative Dimmers. I am the mechanical engineer uh, behind the design of this product. Uh, this is a new Westcott Flex Cine DMX dimmer. It uh, allows for full control of their brand new line of RGBW mats. They're 1x2 and they're 1x1. And it will also control any of the legacy mats as well as any new mats that will come, come in. The dimmer comes with an auto sensing chip for each mat that'll know which mat is connected to it and will limit the power and current accordingly. Whether you use your 50 watt mat all the way up to your 200 watt mats. We have uh, Wi-Fi enabled inside the dimmer so you can control to any third party app that does DMX over ArtNet. For example, here we have it connected to a Luminaire app which allows you to have full control of a color wheel and you can preset pre any scenes or anything of that sort into that and get any desired color that you would like. The dimmer itself also comes built in with a daylight mode, bicolor mode, and the RGB uh, W plus intensity mode. In your bicolor mode, you have two options. You can do your tungsten and daylight separately on the fader, or you can go into a mode that allows you to just do your intensity plus your Kelvin. So if you want to go directly to any Kelvin value, you can go ahead and do that and mess with your intensity. We also come, this dimmer will also come with gels. As of right now, we have 120 lead gels in here. Every single gel will be equipped with the tungsten and the daylight backing for that particular color. You would slide through the gels with the up and down arrows and you can adjust the intensity with the left and right arrows. One cool feature that we have as well are preset what we're going to call source matching where you can uh, source match any light source in a bedroom or a parking garage 
so, uh, such as white fluorescent, warm white fluorescent, cold white fluorescent, sodium vapor, metal halide, things like that, and you can adjust the intensity of those accordingly, accordingly as well. This unit will be firmware updatable, so as we release more firmwares, add more gels, things like that, we can actually send that file to you guys, and you guys will be able to load that firmware from home or from your business, wherever you'd like. This dimmer will also be equipped with presets, so if you find any color that you like on a color wheel on any third-party app, you can actually save those colors for use after you're disconnected from Wi-Fi, and you can use those whenever you want. The unit comes with three mounting options. You have your D-ring on top for any kind of wires sort of, such as this over here. And on the bottom of the unit, we have, we've equipped, equipped it with a quarter inch threaded insert and a 3 8 inch threaded insert for any of your mounting options of baby pins or any C-stand options. The dimmer will also have a hardline DMX option on the, left, on the right side of the dimmer if you want to go directly into that and you'll have your DMX out as well if you would like to daisy chain the units. The dimmer will also be equipped with a master slave mode. So if you have multiple Westcott dimmers, you'll be able to make one a master unit and have your multiple slave units and control those via Wi-Fi directly from one unit to the next. What is going on guys? Ted here with Aperture NAB 2018 showing off the new products that we got for here you today. Starting off, we're going to start off with a big hitter. This is the 120D Mark II. Yeah. Now, if you guys don't know about the 120D, the 120D is probably one of the most popular lights out there. Uh, lights that you'll see some of the biggest YouTubers using. Really kind of blown up and changed the way that we're shooting a lot of digital content. This is the same light, just that much better. But first of all, let's go through the heavy hitters. One, Bowen's mount. This is the most popular photo mount out there. For the first time, video makers can use photo shaping accessories on lights because they're no longer hot. LEDs run cool to the touch. In addition to that, this is a battery powered light. You can see these V-mount batteries here, completely dimmable, LED, and runs cool to the touch. It also has a completely silent fan, so when I put my ear next to it, I'm not gonna hear anything anywhere. This is a video light designed for silent shooting. Now, moving on, the 120D, between the 120D and the 120D Mark II, the Mark II is 30% brighter than the 120D. In addition to that, we are combining the controller box and the power adapter into one. So now the light is just two pieces. On the front here, you can see I've also got wireless control. So I've got a channel 3D. I can turn this light on and off. I can dim it up and down. I'm gonna dim it down, dimming it up. Total wireless control up to 100 meters away. So that's one football field that I can still be controlling all of my lights and all lights go off of one remote. In addition to that, we've got six meter long Nutric cables that come standard with each one. Five pin DMX that's gonna go in here and color coded cables. So you just, in case you're shooting in the dark or if you're in a rush or something like that, really easy. This will be coming out in August. It's priced at $745. Moving on to the next thing. This right here is the Aperture Leco mount. The Leco mount is the new attachment. This snaps right onto the front. It is an ellipsoidal mount similar to a Leco or a Source 4. Now what this will do, this is a Bowens mount accessory. So just like any of the other soft boxes or Fresnels or anything that I want to snap on, this clicks on immediately in seconds. Click, super easy. And what this will do is I'll actually be able to create projector lighting with my 120D and 300D. So you can see, I'll focus that light. I can get very, very clean circles. And the key thing to look for here is if you look at the edges, there's no color fringing whatsoever. I know with a lot of Joe Lico's, you'll get a little green, a little magenta, you'll get a couple colors mixed into there. Nothing here, very, very clean. This also accepts gobos. So I'm gonna put a gobo in here real fast. Actually, before that, let me show you a cut. I'm gonna shut this for you. I can get really, really clean slashes of light, laser thin, and I can shape it however I want it. This is complete shapeability. But it also accepts gobo, so I can slip a gobo right into the front. This gobo means I can put this in focus and immediately have whatever I want to project onto that back wall super easily. This can be branches, this can be checkerboards, this can be a window design. This is La La Land style lighting that we're trying to open up for the indie filmmaker. This right here will have interchangeable lenses, should be available before the end of the year, and we're thinking price, we're trying to keep it under $400. It's not set yet, but again, these are just prototypes of things to come. Moving on to the next thing, this is the new Fresnel mount. This will come out before the end of the year. This is a totally metal build with zero light leak. In addition to that, some users have asked us for a larger Fresnel lens. This is a seven inch Fresnel lens, so we are making that a little bit bigger, a little bit more light transparency, and again, total metal build with no light leak. Now, moving on real quick, I'm gonna touch base on this in just a second. A lot of people have been asking us for Aperture Barn Doors. Where are Barn Doors, where are Barn Doors? We've now made Aperture Barn Doors that snap right onto the front, totally metal build. 
belted barn doors with a gel holder on the front that can also accept snoots, grids, whatever you need here. And these are designed for all aperture products and for the Fresnel. Now I'm gonna come over to light shaping accessories. I know we've got a lot of releases here, super excited about them. This right here is the new Light Dome Mark II. The Light Dome Mark II has a couple of key features. One, inside I have this gel holder. Super, super simple gel holder. A lot of people have been asking, how do we gel our light domes? How do we make them better? All you have to do, doesn't even matter if you cut the gel right, put it in, shut that for you, come in here and snap. There you go. The gel will hold into here, super, super easy, falls into place, opening this up. In addition to that, the entire light dome can be now built up and broken down in under 10 seconds, and it can be built up in two seconds. So check this out, I'm gonna demount it. Really, really easy soft light. And to demount it, all I have to do is push in on these tabs. They click in super simply. And again, I can break this down in under 10 seconds. And when I bring this in, if I want to reset up this light dome, put it down, open it up, and in three, two, one, the entire light dome can be set up in under two seconds. Now that's not it for the Light Dome Mark II. In addition to being able to be set up in two seconds, on the front here, we will have three different types of diffusion cloth. We're gonna have a half frost, a full frost, and a, magic, and a magic cloth. We will also have a 50 degree grid that can go into the front. And we've added these teeth to make a extremely circular, circular design. Same 16 rods, now 32 sides, making for an even more beautiful catch light. This is also available. This should be available in the next two to three months. We're thinking the price, we are trying to keep it around $200, but again, we can't promise anything yet. Just doing the best we can. If you guys are wondering about the Light Dome Mini, we also have a mini version as well. This has all the same features of the new Light Dome. Same size, grid, smaller, can be collapsed and broken down in 10 to two seconds. Finally, I'm gonna move on to just the last little bit here, but one thing that our users have been asking us for for a really long time is they've been saying, Ted, why doesn't Aperture have Shimera softboxes? When is Shimera gonna make softboxes for you guys? Well, the answer to that is that we actually don't really decide that. It's when Shimera decides that you guys are good enough to make softboxes for, that is when we can make softboxes. And I'm happy to announce that for the first time, we now have co-branded Aperture and Shimera softboxes for the LS1 and LS1C. This is a specific request that we got from Shane Hurlbut himself. Super excited about this. This will slip right onto the front of the barn doors of your light. And this right here will have two different types of diffusion cloth, one half and one full gridless. These should be shipping in about two to three months. We are working with Shimera to get the price as low as possible, but we're thinking it'll probably be around that $250 range. Um, I believe that is just about it for all the new releases. The last two releases have just come out a week ago. That would be the new Amaran MX, which is three times to four times brighter than the M9. Same credit card size, super, super bright, bi-color, with a built-in internal lithium battery. On minimum power, this gives you five hours of life. This is the brightest micro LED on the market. And then finally, our last little light here, this right here is our Amaran F7. This is the brightest on-camera fighter light. What we've done here is we've taken the bicolor range all the way down to 32, and we brought it all the way up to 9,500. By bringing up the bicolor range all the way up to 9,500, what we're essentially doing is we bring that down to 56, and when I bring it down to 56, for the first time, filmmakers don't have to choose between maximum output at daylight or bicolor. You get maximum output at daylight, and you still get bicolor by pushing up the range of that color temperature. So both these lights are shipping. The F7 is available for about $98. The MX is available for about $150. I believe that they're all sold out, but you can get them at Autorama. Uh, I believe that's it for all of the new things at NAB. We have a working RGB light here too, but I'm not gonna talk about that. We'll just hint that in the other videos. Thanks for watching. This is Ted from Aperture at NAB.